Um, look, I'll be. If I could have your attention, please. Thank you. If I could, I could be very brief. I think it's. Thank you. I think it's a great occasion that the Australian Chamber here has reached a milestone in its second year anniversary. And it was remarked on before that it's very hard to capitalise on the large number of Lebanese who have settled in Australia, including my family and many families here today, and to maximise the trade and investment opportunities that occur from that. But the best way to do that is what is happening here, and that is to establish a chamber which has direct links on investment and trade between Lebanon and Australia. And I want to reinforce what the Australian ambassador to Lebanon just said. We should be doing more to promote Australia in Lebanon, and I want to congratulate the ambassador for his suggestion that we have something like an Australia Week in, in Lebanon itself, in Beirut. I know that's worked extremely well in Los Angeles. I know it's worked extremely well in New York. It can work in Lebanon as well, and I want to congratulate him for that suggestion. It's one we should take up as well, because it will make an enormous difference. There's a great appetite for all things Australia and Lebanon, as there is a great appetite in Australia for all things that are Lebanese. We heard from the, the Minister for Information from Lebanon how challenges are significant currently in Lebanon, I want to reinforce that. I mentioned last year that the great opportunity for Australia is not only to have a bilateral relationship with Lebanon for investment and trade, but to see Lebanon as a prism for the rest of the Middle East and for North Africa, and I still believe that is the great opportunity that's there before us. That is under some stress and problems currently, because of the significant disruption, the political disruption in the region. We're seeing disruption in Syria. And when you think that Syria is a land bridge for trade and investment to the rest of the Middle East from Lebanon, into Jordan, into other parts of the Gulf, we need a resolution in the region for that goal to be developed and for Lebanon not to only be seen as a place and a destination for investment and trade, but a prism for trading right across the region, which will help and assist in expanding our market opportunities. And I would hope that that occurs. And I'm sure Australia will play its part in trying to resolve the issues in Syria currently. Could I congratulate Freddie Zuki, the Chair and President of the Chamber? He's done a great job. Could I congratulate the executive team as well? Could I thank you for supporting the Chamber? It is a great initiative. It will make a difference. We've already seen that in the connections the Chamber has had with its counterpart in Lebanon. We've already seen it in the exchange of political visits that we've had, and that can only get better and increase further. So I wonder if you could join with me in congratulating the Chamber. Could I congratulations? <laughs> to recommit to capitalising on the great potential that the Lebanese Australians have to do investment and trade with our country of origin in Lebanon and to wish the Chamber every success in the future and to hope that we can be a part of that as well. Thank you very much and uh, I hope you have a good night. Thank you.